France wants to put off implementing the entry-exit system, as it anticipates millions of visitors during the Paris Olympics, which could lead to delays and congestion at the airport. In this video, we talk about France's intention to further postpone the biometric system. Is this a good thing for non-EU travelers? But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by I am. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. The President of France, Emmanuel Macron, intends to delay the launch of the biometric entry-exit system until after the Paris Olympics in August 2024. Paris will host the 2024 Olympic Games from the 26th of July to the 11th of August 2024, and France expects millions of visitors during this period. The entry-exit system requires new infrastructure changes at the external borders, and France wants to avoid any initial hitches, as millions of people are expected to travel to Paris from around the world. The EU entry-exit system will require third-country nationals arriving for short stays to register and have their biometric and photograph taken at the border the first time they enter the Schengen area. The system will enable the automatic scanning of passports replacing manual stamping by border guards. It will collect the data of non-EU nationals each time they cross the external borders and store it in a centralized database shared among the Schengen countries. Already delayed until November 2023, France's proposals would add another nine months of passport stamping for third country arrivals into the EU. There has been no sign yet whether the French will be able to persuade other EU member states to further delay the entry-exit system. A number of countries last year admitted they feared delays and insufficient time to test the process. Airlines also called on European authorities to plan a public communications campaign to alert non-EU nationals about the new requirements. There are also concerns that implementing the new system when a great deal of tourists descend in France may result in airport congestion because it will take each non-EU citizen roughly 10 minutes to register for the first time. If the entry-exit system will be delayed after August 2024, it means non-EU travelers entering the Schengen area will be free from the anticipated disruption of the new border controls for quite some time. This also means there aren't many ways for member states to determine whether non-EU travelers have exceeded the 90-day limit currently in place. The delay of the entry-exit system has also delayed the introduction of the European Travel Information and Authorization or ETIAS, which was supposed to be launched in November of this year. ETIAS is designed to improve security by requiring non-EU nationals that do not need a visa to enter the Schengen area to pre-register before arrival. Another EU border management measure, the upgraded Schengen Information System, entered into operation on 7 March 2023. This provides information on wanted or missing persons, non-EU citizens with no legal right to stay in the EU, and lost or stolen objects, including identity documents. What are your thoughts on this issue? 
talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe. And hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.